Hi guys, I wanted to get this one out before the hurricane, um, which we don't know, we might have power outages or something here. So I wanted to get this video out. I'm not sure if I have full understanding, but I have enough understanding, okay? So I woke in the middle of the night with the words, the secret is in our skin. The secret is in our skin. And then I saw molten lava and some parts of that lava were black because they had been exposed to the air and were cooling. And so there's those black patches along the top of the molten lava. Okay, so I went to study all of the words I could come up with. Lava, molten, magma, and it led me to this understanding, okay? Um, we have the idea, you guys, of die cast, die cast, which is what you do to a coin. Die cast, you and I have been cast in the role of death. And so we too are die cast, okay? We have been poured into this mold. Okay. At first, what we were, you guys, is plaster. We talked about this last summer, maybe, that Adam was rigid. He turned stiff, almost like clay man, was a statue. Clay man Adam was a statue. Okay. And I had once seen him with this netting. Anybody that works with plaster and tries to form it, it seemed to me like there was this netting under the plaster of Adam. That netting is going to represent our weave, our grid, what kind of consciousness we have, but also what kind of skin we are made of. So, you and I are Mercurians. Most of the elements in our body, you guys, are metal. Like I said before, most of the elements on the periodic table are some kind of metal, and so are you. And so we have been cast as metal now, man of steel, iron man, and rod of iron. Our crystalline structure is forming in us and with us. It is forming this grid of Metal. Okay, you guys. So this was our previous grid. Um, and it was made of tissue, a fabric, a network that we were connected to. And what it represents is the grid of the hive mind the consciousness grid of the hive mind. Everybody's been there. Everybody's done that. Um, this is what we, this is what our, the spirit just said, matrix. Who our matrix has been. What does matrix mean? It means mother. Okay. So that has been our matrix, which constructs the form the shape of our body. Please, again, picture clay, man, Adam. Clay, man, Adam. And in order to form plaster, you guys, you have to have this netting underneath it to support the clay. Okay? That network now is our new matrix. It's our new consciousness grid. And it is the new structure holding up our human flesh. So if you could picture, 
this grid being laid on the vertex of your head and then gently flowing down to form around your shape. So no longer are you clay man Adam. Um, in one of the words in Greek, it's, it's plasm, plastic. He was at first clay man Adam was flimsy plastic plaster clay. Okay. Now we are being die cast with a metal framework, metal framework. Again, we've seen ourselves as Iron Man, the man of steel and the rod of iron, which is your spine. Jesus rules with a rod of iron. Okay. We are becoming metallic. Okay. In Hebrew, the word molten, you guys, molten, because I saw lava, remember. So magma, you guys, is all this melted rock, melted earth, um, melted metals from the earth are in the magma, okay? So molten means veil or covering, veil or covering, Okay, our veil or covering is new. It's the new wine skin. Now, if you can think of magma, you can now think not of the earth's crust, but of the earth's mantle. Mantle. You are being covered in a mantle. It's a new weave, a new grid. And the language under here says it's mass, which is literally the Eucharist. Okay? You're just going to have to trust me, guys. It's the body of Christ is what is being laid over you and now forms your form, your shape and your form. Okay. Okay. So let me give you a couple of the words molten in Hebrew. Masaka. Okay. Mass. There it is again. Web covering. A web covering. It's the mantle of Elijah coming down over you and kind of adhering to a certain shape, okay? A pouring over. What does pouring over mean, you guys? Anointed. And here it is in black and white. Fusion of metal to anoint a king. To install. When the king is installed, you know, it's called the installation of the king. When the king is anointed, but install this new webbing in you, this metal framework of your new temple. It's made of metal, mercury. Okay. Okay. Veil, a screen. Okay. So... Guys, we talked early this spring about how, and it, this was probably on my Patreon channel, so I'm very sorry if I, it wasn't on YouTube, but we talked about the pores of our skin, the pores of our skin, and how our flesh is becoming permeable, breathing in and out, breathing in and out. The root word of the word pour is emporium. Emporium, as literally, as in marketplace mercury, as in marketplace. Okay, guys, 
around this center place (laughs) in Atlantis, I'm going to venture to say that there is a market all around the outer rim of that center. It's, you guys, what I'm saying is your skin has pores. It is an emporium, meaning, meaning you guys, it's at the fringes, at the limits of your body, the skin, right? Where you buy and sell and trade in the marketplace. You must have open gates on the Sabbath day in your marketplace. Okay? Your pores are to be open, meaning they're to be permeable. We we talked about this in May, okay? So what this means is you have to allow a pass through, you guys. I'm seeing the idea of osmosis. Okay, the secret is in our skin. You have to have open gates on your borders, on your fringes. It's it's a marketplace on the on the skin is all I can say. Okay? What you're supposed to be buying, by the way, is gold tried in the fire. Gold tried in the fire, if you know the verse from Revelation. Okay. What happens when your sun, your hearth, hearth, your heart flares with solar power? What happens? When your sun inside of your heart, inside of your soul, inside of your eye, the window to the soul, if you have that twinkle and that sparkle in here, it's because you have, your soul is sparkling inside of you. When you receive that flare, that solar flare, it heats up the metal, mercury, of your new structure and you become liquid silver. The metal melts and can pass through the pores of your new wine skin. Your new metal grid, that crystalline structure, it's also metallic, clear glass. And it liquefies, bubbles up like liquid mercury. So in the vision I had during this teaching, our body began to evaporate into little droplets of liquid light, liquid metal, liquid mercury, silver, and it passed right through the skin. What it did was pixelate. It fractured. Okay? And what does pix mean? Eucharist. The body of Christ picks, pixelates. It pixelates. And it reforms somewhere else. You will learn how to do this many times. Now, how do you draw all of your metal back to you? You have a magnet. 
that can reassemble your pixels, which remember, pix is the Eucharist, the body of Christ. It's also manna, all the manna that you've been eating from heaven. It's gold particles. This was also in the Ark of the Covenant, by the way. So that nuclear power pixelates your iron grid, liquefies it, and you pass through, you pass over, you translate, you transfigure. When you pull yourself back together, you will have reassembled, reorganized the form, the form in perfection. So that the lowest parts of you sink to the bottom and the star parts of you rise to the top. You are reorganizing and reassembling your form. The root words here, curtain, veil, what does Paul say, I believe? The veil is the flesh. You have a new veil, a new curtain, a new grid, a new screen. It is very porous and it allows for this liquid metal to come right up and out. And it's able to reassemble itself in the correct order and in the correct form. The root word here is calypto, okay? As in apocalypto or eucalypto, you guys, okay? So as in apocalypse, you guys, but calypto means to hide, veil, to hinder knowledge. What is what, that is what our old wineskin did. It hid us, concealed us and covered us. Okay. The apocalypto is the uncovering and the revealing of those metals, shiny, liquid, light droplets. Okay. Calypto from the root word klepto, which is to steal and also crypto. Okay which means cryptic, right? To hide, conceal, to keep secret. Okay, the idea I get, you guys, is that just like Jesus used to slip away, so can we. Okay. So this is our translation. By faith, Enoch was translated. I had a dream two nights ago where it was the end of a movie and the Chariots of Fire theme was playing and I kept waiting for the credits to roll, okay? So Chariots of, of Fire theme is playing at the end of a movie and suddenly I realized, oh, the credits aren't rolling because there's another chapter. Okay, so that might be important for some people. But Enoch was the one who was translated by faith, by the chariots of fire. Now, you, you are Mercury, who is the chariot in the sky, who is the Merkaba. You have the mantle of Elijah, Elisha, because you saw him go up and now you ha have a double portion. Trust me, we've learned about it on the channel, okay? So you get his mantle. It's the body of Christ. It's the pixie 
dust where you can float away. It is literally the elements of your body, most of them being metal, that liquefy, come through the permeable skin, permeable skin, which is a breathing, breathing skin, and comes out and is able to reassemble in some kind of form somewhere else. When it reassembles, you guys, it's going to be in perfect order according to your, the spirit wants me to say faith, according to your DNA, your new DNA structure, form, transfigure, transfiguration. This is it. This is it. This is what we're talking about. Okay. Translation, right? The new element, the new element. That's it for today. I hope I see you soon. If not, let's all weaken the storm together. Okay. And then I will see you after that. Thanks for watching.